Hey, everybody. Uh, my name is Ed Thompson. I'm also from uh, a little software company in, in Washington State called Microsoft. Um, my coworker, Martin, uh, spoke earlier about the, uh, the Visual Studio uh, integration of Git. And that's kind of the. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Uh, so the Visual Studio integration with Git is really the culmination of what we've been working on. But we got into this. PowerPoint does not love me. Yeah, anyway. Uh, so uh, the, the, the beginnings of our Git uh, work at Microsoft were really uh, around this, this version control tool that we have called Team Foundation Server. TFS was built um, as a, a very, very large scale deployment. It was built for the Windows code base. It was built for the Visual Studio code base, things with a lot of binaries and a lot of files that um, uh, you kind of need specialized version control tools. You, you need semantics that you, nobody else wants to use. So we built TFS uh, and for ourselves. Uh, and at some point, other people you know, started using it because we started selling it. And we built uh, a cross-platform version of it. Uh, it's called Team Explorer Everywhere. And it's got this great Xcode plugin. <laughs> because Apple is, oh, oh, no, it doesn't have an Xcode plugin. Because Apple uh, won't give us access to the SDK that, that we need to write. Uh, source control plugins. We can build an Eclipse plugin. We can build a Visual Studio plugin. We couldn't build an Xcode plugin. That was very disappointing to us. Um, so we started thinking about how we could maybe plug into Xcode. Uh, it turns out that Xcode has uh, some other, you know, plugins for for Subversion, or it did. I don't actually think that that exists anymore. Um, and at some point, they added Git support. Um, so that was great. There's a, there's a Git TFS project out there that bridges Team Foundation version control to Git, except it's written in C Sharp, because you know, it's a, it's a Microsoft-friendly project. Um, so we decided that we wanted to bridge Git uh, to Team Foundation server, if you will, kind of like Git SVN, Git uh, P4, all those other fine tools, and just like what Git TFS already does, only we needed to make it cross-platform. So we decided to write it in Java, because Microsoft loves Java, as you all know from lawsuits that happened you know, a decade or so ago. Um, we really love Java. The hard part, of course, for us was uh, taking Team Foundation server version control, which is a centralized version control system. It uses monotonically increasing change sets that build upon each other. It doesn't use a DAG. How do you represent this crazy history of ours uh, in a graph? Well. That was, you know, it took a long time, and finally we realized that, that TFS's linear history model is, in fact, a form of a DAG. It's, in fact, a really simple DAG. So once we figured that out, you know, then we realized that the hard part was, in fact, taking the DAG and turning that into a linear history. So just like all the other tools that take a, a linear history model, like Git SVN and Git P4, uh, and turn it uh, into a Git repository, you know, we don't do a very good job going the other way either. You know, you've got to kind of pick a line through there uh, and flatten it, basically. Um, no surprise there. So, uh, this fancy tool has some of the same semantics. I've got, I, I've just got a little uh, TFS repository. This is this is Team Foundation Server for those of you who haven't seen it, which I suspect is almost everyone in this room. Uh, this is Microsoft Team Foundation Server. It's got a little web interface like other popular version control tools might. Um, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and clone this down using git tf, make a git repository out of this. And the, the internet in here is not, not the best, but We'll give it a second. Uh, while that's going, uh, interesting things about Git TF. I, again, I mentioned it was written in uh, Java. We use uh, the, the very fine JGit library, um, which is a, a wonderful implementation of Git in Java. Pure Java, no JNI. Um, I, I think I remember somebody asking, uh, were there 
libgit2 bindings for Java? Uh, the answer is no. Um, although you may have heard some mumbling. It's something that we've kind of considered a little bit. I've kind of considered personally a little bit because we spend a lot of time talking to libgit2 at Microsoft. We spend a lot of time talking to jgit at Microsoft. Um, there's some thought that maybe we could talk to libgit2 uh, just in Java. Um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna let you guys trust me that that this will actually pull down and create a Git repository for my TFS repository, and that then I could check the results back in, because um, it's gonna sit here at eight percent. This is this is like, I don't know, a dozen files. So uh, uh, my internet has not been real happy today. Um, anyway, uh, yeah. So. Like I said, this was kind of the, the first step uh, of Microsoft going down the road towards Git. This was one of the things that helped us build uh, the, the integration into Visual Studio and a Team Foundation server uh, that we have now uh, for, for Git proper uh, instead of some crazy cloned madness. Um, so. Oh, yeah, of course. I apologize. This is, uh, and of course, uh, GitTF is open source. It's under an MIT license. Uh, you can find it at gittf.codeplex.com. Codeplex is uh, Microsoft's open source hosting site, which I'm sure you're also all familiar with. Uh, it's similar to another uh, hosting site called um, uh, GitHub, I think it's called, only, you know, it also, only it's for Team Foundation version control instead. Wildly popular in the open source community. All right, well, thanks so much.